Just a little rant about Google Maps this morning. Um, you know, it's great that uh, you can do a lot of route planning on your computer and uh, uh, tell Google where it is that you'd like to go and how you'd like to get there. Doing it on a computer screen, of course, is a much better experience than doing it on a phone or even on an Android Auto uh, display on a, on a car. But the problem is that um, you can tell Google to send the route to your phone, and of course your phone is what drives something like Android Auto, um, and that uh, that's what I'm using in Joy to uh, show me the route, uh, show me the way, show me the route. But when it gets to your phone from your computer, it's a whole different thing. It doesn't remember the route that you actually planned. It just says, oh, you want to start here and you want to go there. So here's the route from here to there. doesn't matter that you carefully selected a bunch of alternative stops or uh, waypoints along the way that will get you, you know, going in a direction that you want instead of the way that Google decides you should go. And um, so that's pretty much what happened this morning. And uh, I set up uh, a, a route uh, after I got uh, into the driver's seat and uh, pulled up the route on uh, Android Auto and found that it was, you know, something entirely different. So I used Android Auto to establish pretty much the same waypoints that I had determined on the computer. Well, okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> but it got me to the first waypoint, but then, I, of course, it had to turn me around because to continue on to the second waypoint, I'd have to loop back to get onto some highway that I had just passed. Okay, well, fine. But it put, took me off on a side road that was absolute garbage. And I ended up bouncing um, <laughs> the contents of joy at uh, some point. And, you know, it was um, a pretty nasty, loud, you know, crack kind of thing going on. And so I'm going to have to stop here now and kind of take a look and see if anything was really harmed in the process here. I doubt it, but I mean, <laughs> what happens if, you know, like something happened in the refrigerator or something and now I've got water gushing all over the place or something like that? I don't know. I just want to make sure that everything's cool. And... Yeah, I mean, everything looks okay. Um, then again, uh, let's see if I can move this out of the way. Uh, this actually looks like it got damaged. That looks uh, bent. That's bent down. Yeah, so, um, and this is actually my toolkit in here, so it's probably the heaviest thing I got. Uh, enjoy. I should probably have that down on the floor, but the problem is that I don't know if there was a problem. Uh, maybe I should rethink that. But yeah, so now I've damaged that um, that shelf, so that's not cool. Everything else looks fine. Uh, we'll go inside now and see if there's anything amiss there. trash down here on the floor I needed to need to throw away uh, let's see from this side oh that's interesting let me just throw this trash away here for a second and I'm seeing one thing that's kind of weird I have this piece of cardboard here to kind of provide a platform for the fan and that seems to have like, come out somehow It's been sliding around, and that 
completely slid out of place. Okay. That's back to normal. That shouldn't be so far forward. <clears throat> we should probably fix that from the other side. Uh, induction cooktop's okay. Computer probably got bounced here. That's my laptop uh, underneath this mouse pad. Um, monitor's okay. It's locked into position. Everything else here looks okay. Um, what's going on in the refrigerator? Uh, nothing is leaking out, so I think we're okay. Hope the eggs are okay. Uh, okay. Um, Pull this back a little bit. This is all my water supplies. My hoses and filters and that sort of thing. Um, okay. We'll call that a done deal. Uh, I don't know whether this has actually ruined the entire shelving unit or not. I mean, you know, word, word to the weary. Uh, it, when you're If you're putting in one of these shoving units in the back of your vehicle. Make sure you're putting the heaviest stuff at the bottom or, you know, I guess you gotta make a determination as to whether or not uh, something as heavy as a tool kit, because that is that is pretty heavy. Uh, should even be on there. All right, well, um, in order to check all this out, I stopped at a historical marker and I don't know what the history is here, but let's take a look. It's over here at this building, I guess. As long as we're here, we might as well make them the best of it, right? Take a look and see what's going on. The Northern Pacific Blueberry Depot. Okay. This depot was built by the Northern Pacific Railway and served the community of Blueberry, Wisconsin, and its surrounding area. Blueberry was located about 22 miles east of Superior, Wisconsin, on the NP's Wisconsin First Subdivision Ashland Branch. The 17-foot by 36-foot structure was built in 1900 uh, and uh, replaced a small log uh, depot which had become too small to adequately serve the public at Blueberry. This present structure was built at a cost of $450. Building materials were listed at $250 and $200 covered all labor expenses. Okay, I'll let you read the rest of it. Pause the video if you need to, uh, but that's interesting. And apparently there were railroad tracks right through here according to the, uh, the picture here. Huh. But then there's this other thing over here. There's a windmill. It says save the windmill. that they put porta potty here too, I guess. And a picnic table. So if you'd like to help save this windmill, you can send donations to Old Brule Heritage SOC in Maple, Wisconsin. None of the, I don't know, what do they call those? Uh, the, the windmill uh, blades. It's not really a propeller, but I don't know what it would be called. But it looks like there's some been some recent work on it. stuff for it over here, it looks like. I don't know what this pole is for. Kind of looks like it's almost holding it up. Only saw one door, and that was over here. I don't know if 
it's open or not. Doesn't even have a handle. I don't know how you would open it. Just pull on it maybe. It feels like it's locked or something. From the inside. I don't know. The window up there. Oh, okay. Interesting stop. And I guess we've found out what the bad news is of the debacle with Google this morning. So thanks, Google. Google Maps. Really appreciate your crappy routing. I don't know if anyone has any better ideas of how to get around the country than other than Google Maps. Waze is just a, a Google subsidiary, so probably nothing better there. Apple Maps? Yeah, well, I don't have an Apple device. Okay, let's get going again.